Good kitten internet. Let's get back to it. So all I've done is I grinded. Um, I actually went to the place that we needed to go in order to grind because nothing else made any sense. So uh, both Luca and Brad are now level 9. Uh, Ashley is still level 3. He has not gained a single point of XP since I've started this. Um, yeah. <laughs> cool. Uh, they have a lot more hit points than they used to more hit points than they used to, and they are now going to be leveling up as much as they want. I no longer have to care about their particular levels, as in they're too high. I only have to care that they're not high enough level to do things. So, um, this has been rough, to put it mildly. Uh, I actually had recorded the grinding process. Uh, part of it was on the previous video that I cut out. Part of it is on a different video, but unfortunately, I had my microphone muted the entire time. It's not important, so I'm not too concerned. And I am, in fact, going to heal Barry up. Oh, uh, another thing. I picked up a lucky card on the beach. Because there are items just in the world that you have to use your searching abilities to find. So, yeah. Let's get back to the telepath tower and I'll show you where it's at and everything. I'll even pretend to scan. So here we are in Damson City and what we need to do is to go south. Now there's going to be this little green spot up in the corner and we're going to want to scan right by the green spot like this. Hey look there's a telepath tower here. Okay. So uh, is there anything I need to be concerned about in the telepath tower? Okay. Nothing I particularly need to be worried about. I need to hit some switches, though. I wonder if I can hit it from... Yeah. I don't think I can. Let me show you how I've been grinding. So, Rigiv is installed on Ashley, that's fine. Lilka, you're going to heal Brad. Lilka is now high enough level to have heal at the start, which is nice. And Ashley, you're going to use Defensor. I think that's actually supposed to be Defender and not Defensor, but whatever. I actually don't know where Zone QD is right now. So yeah, I can one-shot these at this point. They're going to 16 tons Ashley, knocking him out. Perk, dead. And now it doesn't matter who kills who. I think Lilka can even kill them in one shot now. Nope, not quite. Okay. I think they have 75 hit points. And then I gain XP. And here, hillberries. We definitely use more hillberries right now, so that's fine. Okay. Nope. I may have to walk out and come back in here. Oops, I don't know how to hit any of these switches. Oh, there's one. Cool, I got one. Do I have to hit this from the floor or something? Yes. Which means I'm going to have to walk out and back in. Cool, be back. So you hit your button here, and then you find the Celeport Path Tower. Who would have guessed? Anyway, there's three switches inside of here that we need to hit. We need to hit them using the bricks, and... Oh, it actually retained which ones had already been switched. Uh, not bricks. Boxes. 
third one, and the door opens. Puzzles. Wrong direction. That thing's off. Um, so the exclamation point, we're going to see primarily red exclamation points because Ashley is such a low level. Honestly, we could just run away from these. And if they happen to kill Ashley because we can't run away, fine. Because there's a large jump in the amount of XP that was needed from going from 7 to 8 and then 8 to 9. Uh, leveling up from 8 to 9 requires double the amount of experience that you've received the entire time that you've been alive. Whereas 7 to 8 was something like a fifth. It's a very large jump. Makes me wonder if this is intentional. Anyway, we are going up these stairs. Long stairways. Ooh, gears. Aw, oh, yes, gears. The telepath tower is a network system that uses empathite telepathic communication. Also known as, it's a giant cell tower. Keep in mind, this is before cell phones were super popular. This is 1999. And yeah, they were definitely around, it's just that they weren't super popular. Eventually, we won't have to do this constantly worrying about Ashley leveling up thing. It'll be nice when that happens, but we're not at the point of the game where we can get Ashley to no longer gain XP easily. Ooh, there's loot here. A switch. A switch that we can't reach right now. down there. Flip the switch. Which releases the drawbridge. Yeah, a drawbridge indoors. I really don't understand, but okay. Cool. That's what you want, game. The nice aesthetic. Still don't know what's actually powering the tower. We were surprised. Alright, Ashley might be dead. That's fine. Uh, you're trying to hit Brad. That's going to work well. Oh, yep, Ashley's dead. Water Catastrophe is an area of effect water attack that hits really hard, actually. 100 kind damage on Ashley. Well, that just means you're going to die now. So I know that Lilka plus Brad can take out the mage. I may have fought these guys quite a bit. I think the mage has about 200 points. from there, I will have Brad attack, heal Lilka. Oh, before I do that, I keep forgetting to do this. I prefer having characters in the order that they're actually going to go. Lilka's going to heal herself, Brad's going to punch the critter in the face. So I don't mind them getting XP at this point. It's fine. Hence the, if Ashley happens to die, I will kill them all. Oops, let's not fall. Let's cross that bridge when we get to it. Which we've gotten to it. Hey, look. It's four stairways. Save point. Yes, please. Save my game. Save my game. Save my game. I just realized, I didn't actually make a save from the last video at the end, did I? I mean, that's just in Damson City. Meh, close enough. Yes, continue. Okay. There's a bookshelf in here. Telepath Tower's use. 
Telepath Tower is designed to broadcast worldwide, so it has the world's largest amphithite. Communication amphithite at the broadcast location amplifies the power of the transmission. Now it's possible to use the amphithite to transmit long distance or to regions not reached before. Also, empathite that's used to be dis uh, that used to be discarded can be reused due to more efficient use of resources. Communication technology began when a telepath mage appeared to specialize in telepathy. Then, due to its peculiar nature, the telepath mage dwindled until he was replaced by the empathite. The empathite amplifies people's thoughts and has the ability to transform individual pulses. Some empathite resonating with another piece far away can be used to transmit information. Is it three different books? Yeah. There aren't many mines where one can mine empathite. The most famous is Mount... Keltepico? Keltepico. Siltolingian. Alias, Mount Chug Chug. It's said that the name comes from the chug chug sound of mining machinery. While the Mount Mind is low, the best and purest empathite is found here and sent all over Filgaia. The empathite's power is determined by its size and purity. If size doubles, so does power. If purity doubles, power triples, so large, pure empathite is best. Currently, the most powerful empathite ever discovered is being used in the Telepath Tower. See, we get lore with our weird dungeons. We have paths? Or is this where we entered at? This is not where we entered at. Uh, don't? Does it matter? I'm starting to hear the sound of machinery from somewhere. Okay. Ooh, loot. Teleport gem, yay! Ah. No. We need to go back. There's something very important there. Very important. So what that actually did was open those doors. Not that one. That's actually where we entered at. It's a different door. And right here. Yep. It's an elevator. Where we want to go is uh, do, do, go down the third floor. This has achievement unlocked booty call to a booty call acquired. The booty call is something for Ashley because Ashley needs a booty call. With the booty call, press square and you can see all the items in a room. If there are items, a green light will indicate the location along with a sound. The more advanced version of radar. All right, going up to the fifth floor. Small piece of empathite here used mainly for control and regulation of communications. The upper part of the telepath tower uses Galeo Pulse Empathite at maximum power of 1,429 GP. Galeo Pulse? We can cover all of Philgaia in bad weather, some reason region won't receive the transmission. There actually was loot in here. You can hear it. Right here. 
mini carrot, revive fruit, and a crest. Hooray! More crests. All the crest crafts, please. I feel kind of sad that they started calling them crests instead of crest crafts. I think it's worth it. Chances of one of them hitting Ashley, especially when I'm using Defensor, is really high. No, but they don't have 75 hit points. They have more. Okay. Maybe it's 100. I don't know. I haven't bothered analyzing them. Because I actually do have Analyzer. And Ashley's dead. Arr. I hate you! You remember that ability from Wild Arms 1, maybe? Same ability. They reuse quite a bit of things. Launch! I hate you! It's okay, Loka will just heal at the end of this turn. Or at the start of this turn. I mean. And Brad will punch the daylights out of you. Launched dead. Might as well gain some XP every so often, right? Wilka posing with her umbrella. I should pay attention to how many poses each character has. I think it's two. Alright, we've got a switch block puzzle. <laughs> Still more doof. I really don't remember how this puzzle works anymore. If I wrote this down, this would be easier, but I'm being lazy. <coughs> okay, that one will open that. Got it. So as long as I have a way to get out of there, that will be fine.
wonder if it's as simple as walking out and walking in. Because that's now open. There we go. It was as simple as walking out and walking in. This is the sturdy treasure chest takes a powerful blow to open. Herk! Achievement unlocked. Pineapple arm! The pineapple is a heavy arm used by Brad. It delivers to the enemy a shock attack, which acts on the target's vibrations. That's a really bad translation, but sure. Oh, he just got it, rather than... Yep. Yeah. Pineapple. So now he has an area of effect attack. Nice. So, what to talk about? Um, I don't know. What are you eating today? Like, if you're not eating right now, what are you eating today? Or what have you just recently eaten? Hey, Ashley's down. Sweet, I can kill them all. Launch. Heal Brad because I can. Launch. Death detected. So yeah, um, I had some pizza earlier today. I found a banana and a single serving of pretzels because I've been craving salt lately. I've also been really dehydrated. Those two things are likely related. Booty? No booty. Sorry, Ashley, you just don't have booty. I wonder what booty call was actually called in Japanese, because that's just a very silly term. Probably for this huge equipment. Looks like this was put on later. Maybe by that shady looking guy. Remember, we heard that there were some people around here that were a little strange. Hey, hey, it's starting up! Isn't this a bit dangerous? It's receiving a transmission from somewhere. That's what the amplifier must be for. I've put down the controller. Although I think I'm going to have to hit the buttons to continue. For all of the guy. Nope, I have no control. First, greetings to all corrupt officials who have inherited power with no qualifications. and to all the ignorant fools who have no qualms about leading degenerate lives. Yeah, I have no control. Oh, 
I am the Reform Party Odessa. I am the Reform Party Odessa leader, Vinsfield Ramathan. Ram Rod Rodamanthus. Rodamanthus. Vinsfield Rodamanthus. It's a name worth remembering, apparently. But he's appearing in every possible image in Filgaia. Let me state at this from the start. Among those listening now are traitors. And that is you. You're the traitor right there, the one that's watching. If you've not averted your eyes, you'll have noticed the ground is full of monsters. I actually get to see signs of other parts of Filgaia now, which is nice. They are impure creatures, yet no one tries to remove them. No one tries to bring peace. Why? Because people are small, cowardly animals. As one who grieves the fate of Filgaia, I say this is because of the traitors! Traitor! Nice focus there, camera. Yep, crystal ball vision. We've handed the land over to the monsters. How can we the how can that be allowed to happen? My harsh comments here should be understandable. That's a translation thing, I think. I think it's supposed to be you should understand my harsh language. We of Odessa swear an oath. This is a Mariabool. A powerful national system will be built by eliminating foolish national boundaries. <clears throat> we are fundamentally different from statesmen who only bark like dogs at things. So remember all of the books that were in uh, Irving's library? Uh, we'll start with those three countries. First, we'll hammer Mary Abul, Sylvia Land, and Guild Galad and take control. Remember, there are four countries, and the fourth one is Slayheim, which is um, different. Once judgment is passed, your relative's blood will spill and you'll hear their cries. But who can intelligently refute my resolutions? Like I said, uh, Irving's book included things that were like, hey, look, how do you unite the world? This is a rite of passage to make the future ours. It is a burial. Yes, it is a burial for our, for a new creation. Uh, for the new era, judgment will be passed on the system which carries on the old ways. I'll summarize this afterward, by the way, in what I think is the correct terminology. To all who sympathize with Odysseus' ideals, come join Vinsfield. Vinsfield? I think it's supposed to be Vinsfield, but I think Vinsfield. The blood we spill together will purify the tainted earth and form the bonds of tomorrow's Volgaia. There are those who criticize Odessa's acts as extreme. They spout malicious gossip. This is the place that we found Loka at the start, by the way. We are prepared to stop it all. This is because we operate under the right principles. The governing nation of Odessa will rise up from the rubble and ashes and dust. The rubble of ashes and dust. Welcoming the leader who promises the next era is an honor and blessing bestowed upon you. Cut transmission. A clandestine broadcast. They're mocking us. Besides the empathite transmitters, the mirrors, the glass, and the water were all affected by the hijack. That's... They used the telepath tower to send their terrorist message throughout Filgaia. 
Oh, what's that? Oh, the... I'm sorry. Oh. The command was to destroy the amplifier. Missed that. Here it comes. These are a lot more interesting looking now that I can actually see the shapes. Mysterious phantom being Vagesta. So, to describe what was supposed to have been that message, uh, Vinsfield was declaring that he was going to attack the nations of Maria Bull, Sylvia Land, and Guild Galad, and basically unite everybody under his boot. Um, Vinsfield would be a fascist, and back in 1999 when they were doing this, the reference was to what happened in Japan in World War II, I think. Um, uniting on the fascism, trying to conquer everything possible to have enough resources to do what you see fit. That type of situation. Um, uh, there's a lot of uh, the theme, not just the theme of environmentalism throughout the Wild Arms series, but also a theme of pacifism throughout the Wild Arms series, and the idea that we're better together, but that doesn't mean that somebody should go conquer everybody to make sure that we're better together. We should do it willingly, uh, under our own free will, and be nice to each other, that type of thing. So, a lot of what Zvinsfield's speech was supposed to be was basically a, yeah, we're going to kill everybody in order to do this if we have to. We're the right answer. Look at how much bickering all the rest of the countries are doing. Obviously, there's a better way, and the better way is for us to control everybody. It's a very fascist message. Not that that's at all relevant to, you know, 2020 or anything like that. Anyway, um, we need to fight. Um, so, this is our first boss battle where we're going to fight it normally. Ish. <laughs> Yeah. Let's start taking out a claw, shall we? All right, I need more force points, and Ashley's not going to survive long enough. Ooh, it's faster than me. Good to know. 81, okay. That's not too bad. Punch! Is it weak against anything? Uh, what did they? Mm -mm. Brad, punch. Actually, you have enough to lock on. Uh, I can only hit one of them because we're in the same group. So lock on. Ashley. Yeah, go ahead and use Defensor. Nah. Attack. Distortion! Links. Does that mean it's immune to attacks this turn? It might be. Yep, it is. Well, that means this lock-on's useless. Miss. Lock-on itself missed. I didn't realize there were any enemies that can do that. Interesting. Huh. Let's try Vortex again. I want Brad to just keep punching for a bit. And Ashley, you can use your shot weapon. Why not? And Ashley's dead. Perk. Death. He would have been one-shotted. Nice. Alright, let's see if this works a little better. 205 damage. Okay, that's a regular hit. It's more damage than what Brad's doing, which is nice. Uh, let's try a break. Lock on Bazooka. I think I'll heal Brad next 
Brad's still... Uh, Brad, uh, break is still normal damage. Lock on, bazooka, pachu. 765. Yeah, that claw's dead. Um, Spark? I think they're all probably the same. I'm... You know what? Healing's better. Actually, no. Quick. That way I can go before the enemy. Disease club. Crap. Need to remove disease. Oh, it didn't hit. Good. That's the reason why I stocked up on medicine, by the way, is that I knew this boss was coming. Alright. Increase the speed. Are you going before? Because you get the left claw. Yes, you are. Good. That's what I wanted to have happen. Disease cloud again. Anybody getting diseased? No. Good. Try Spark. Brad, punch. You don't have any force points, so. Zap. Oh, took out the claws. Where are my claws? Disease Cloud. Anybody diseased this time? Ah, uh, Brad's diseased. Okay, I need Brad to take out his own disease. Or am I gonna have somebody else do it? Luca does more damage than Brad at the moment, so. Medicine yourself. Zap. And disease cloud. Let me guess. Now Loka's injured. Yep. I should have just missed it. Bit, but oh. Heal, you bastard! Um, so, maybe you're actually. Maybe the main form's weak against something else. Watch. Yes, there we go. And another disease cloud, because why not? Okay, now that I know what you're weak against, this is going to be a little more obvious. Zap. Poison bubble? Crap, you're poisoned and diseased now. That sucks. No. Oh. I don't know if I have any antidotes on me. Welp. I have no antidotes. This is gonna suck. Well, maybe you'll just die. That would be nice. Life returner, so you're healing yourself again. You're dead. Good. Face plant. Fade out. Got 1200 XP, 1200 gold. Lilka and Brad both reached level 10 and gained two lucky cards. Nice. She's been unlocked. Mysterious Phantom Being Vegesta. Vegesta? Can't just do nothing like I have been in every combat for this game. Let's return to Damson and explain the situation to the engineers at Telepath Tower. Let's explain the situation of the telepath tower to the engineers at Damson, maybe. That might make more sense. Yep, and I'm gonna start taking a lot of damage. 20 damage per step. Or per flash. It's okay, they'll drop drop to one. It'll be fine. I'm just buying an antidote. Because sleep is for the wicked. I 
Hey, look. He's down to one hit point. There we go. All right, that's a little better. I'll just heal Brad the next random combat that I have. It'll be fine. Ah, I know what we need to do. We have to make sure the telepath tower's empathite can't be used for a clandestine broadcast. Well, it's a bit late now, now, isn't it? Don't worry about that now. I'm more worried about the terrorists. Do something. Terrorists. Because the terrorists use the telepath tower for their broadcast. Does that make our family responsible? No. This is unbelievable. Now those rats are using the telepath tower for their own purposes. And not just the tower either. Hope they don't use the booty call for their misdeeds. <laughs> booty call. Oh yeah, speaking of booty call. Nothing there. Nothing there. Hey, you! Wait, wait, I say. Take it you wish to capture those vile terrorists? I don't remember what voice I was using for. If you do, you'll want to listen to me with the utmost care. We're in a hurry, catch us next time! You don't need to know your place in the You don't seem to know your place in the world. Ilka! You know anything about him? I saw a Gullwing class plane flying east of here. Remember, the Gullwing was the name of the ship from Wild Arms 1. As far as I know, no country has used that type of flying machine since the Sleheim Liberation Army. So Sleheim had supersonic jets. Cool. So, you should be able to figure out the rest. Is it Odessa? The organ the terrorist organization? But why would you know so much about such things? Why would you give the information to us? Wait. I I actually, uh, who are you again? Yes. I can't believe you how stupid you are, Ashley. Beware of ultraviolet layers. I'll tell you uh, my face and name from within this protective costume. You should remember. My name is Maribel. Portrait. Well, do you remember Ashley? Uh, no. How do you know my name anyway? You don't remember, huh? Oh well, yeah, I guess you wouldn't. Oh well, not a big deal. I guess I'll leave the other. I'll leave the other matter up to you. Teleport. Um, that, was that just an illusion or something? Oh, phone call. It's me, from Demzen, where you are. I have no idea what that sentence is actually supposed to say. Is this about the flying machine heading east? How did you know about that? Just found out here in town. Well, what should we do? They must be the terrorists who issued the communique. Commun ah, communique. Odessa. They must have tampered with the telepod tower and somehow are trying to get away. Your next mission is to stop Odessa in their tracks immediately. Understood. One more thing. Although I am the commander of arms, I want you, Ashley, to take the command when the time comes to fight. Me? Made the attack? But I've been killed every single battle. That's right. After all, you're the team leader. Yes, sir! I will commence the pursuit of Odessa at once. Alright, 45 minutes. We can keep going. I actually did get all the barrels in here. Neat! Anything else in the clinic? No. It's a lot harder to hear the ping back. weird about this game is there's so few horses. Yeah. 
folks who want the whole world are just nuts. You can't wear... If you can wear rags but still have a heart of gold like me, then you're set. Yep, all I like is gold and treasure. Just gotta find that booty call. So I can call up booty. Go ahead and make a real save. Fast forward during that. There we go. Six videos and I have made 14 saves so far. I'll be making one more most likely. Let's duck into the end. Nope. Should duck into each of the rooms though. I don't think those little nightstands can actually have any treasure, but, you know. Nope. That annoying bunch comes back to this area. I think they might aim for Mount Chug Chug. Chug Chug. Chug 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 We should bind those crest, that crest graph that we picked up. I love the purple carpet. And that's not ironic, I really like that shade of purple. Uh, freeze magic is what I want. Yes, that was both water and ice magic. Hmm. Okay, uh, is there anything else I need to hear from here? Uh, no, not really. Do I keep going through Mount Chug Chug? I'll go to the first safe point in Mount Chug Chug. So Mount Chug Chug is east, which means it's this way. might be up here like in that mountainous area I tried coming up here before during my attempt at trying to get random encounters yep that was definitely not there before so apparently there are plot triggers for these types of things good to know welcome to Mount Chug Chug you feel the menace of a monster's howl so, if you remember, in Wild Arms 1, there were a couple of areas that had, like, a little circle, and you were supposed to um, play the guitar inside the circle to have a random high-level boss. This is the first one we've encountered. It's really early in the game. Unfortunately, there's a lot of these mountain passive type places for dungeons. I'm not a huge fan of the aesthetic myself. There's loot in here. It's up there, isn't it? What are you? Spud heads. Try to heal up Brad. Hopefully they'll kill Ashley. Punch. Well, I can one shot him with Brad. And they killed Ashley. Best of both worlds. Buried alive. Ooh, area of effect attack. It dealt next to nothing in damage. Cool. Well. You're an Earth enemy. Let's scan you, because I haven't scanned anybody yet. So scan is actually, uh, analyze is an ability off of, you know, it's just a palette swap. Level 9, 120 hit points. Weak against water and light, is that? Water and electricity, maybe? Buried alive, oh no! I'll have Loka heal again rather than casting a spell. Wish I knew what that symbol was off the top of my head. 
punch. Death to that. Two more heal barons. <laughs> okay. Um. I was gonna check something. What was it? I don't think there's a way for me to look at what the symbol is in here. Actually, Ashley. No. Yeah, it's Brad. Eventually, I'll actually not have bad luck. I don't know when that will happen or if that will happen. This lift is stopped. It's not hit a crystal, thank you very much. Pretty sure Ashley can't kill them. And that will kill Ashley for sure. Zero, 1936, her. I'm actually using Wilka to attack. I didn't really need to now that I think about it, but well, I did anyway. I should have tried to figure out what element that was. Thought it had fun, but apparently not. <sighs> so, Mount Chug Chug. I'm not supposed to be balanced on this like this. Yes, defend us, Ashley. Ooh, you actually took zero. I'm surprised. Now I have to have everybody defend. And you're dead. <laughs> That's more like what I was expecting to have happen. All right, let's figure this out. Is it freeze? Not freeze. Good day. Now, what am I missing? Wasn't anything over here. Is where I came from, right? Yeah. Is there something else in here I didn't notice? Maybe I need to go in here? Yeah, must be. Please just kill off Ashley. Thank you. <laughs> Tilt zero to the other two. <laughs> Alright, Wilka, let's figure out. Is it Spark? Zap. No, it is not. Oh, 
What element am I missing? I mean, I know water, but I don't think that's fire. That's usually a different symbol. No treasure in this room, okay. I don't want to touch that. This is what I was looking for. A uh, boot to the head. It's a minecart from before. Hop in. Three point pose. Aw, oh, yes. Turn the lever on. The lever won't move. There's something shiny here. Something stuck between the something stuck in the crack between the equipment. I bet if I take it out, it'll be fine. Let's try the lever. What a beautiful crystal. It's sparkling. Pass through light, it'll reflect seven colors on the other side. <laughs> Marina likes stuff like this. Empathite acquired. Turn the lever on. The machine lift is working, it's working. Now we can get back, and how to avoid... I can't. Well, Ashley has hit points. How dare I? He's got five whole hit points. Alright, so lifts are working now, so we can go this way. need two more levels before I can start casting these at first round. I have to defend with everybody because they can run away. Helena. Level 7. 90 hit points. Weak against... Yeah, I think that's win. That's the reason why I was concerned, so they can take pocket. They stole an antidote from me, you bastard. Endocrine boost. Increasing speed. We're not attacking Ashley. I think I'm just going to run away and let the antidote stay away. Sad. Hopefully I don't get poisoned. Probably should have picked up more antidotes. so weird trying to dodge all of the crystals. I'm glad I don't have to do this in Wild Arms 3. There's, there's crystals everywhere in Wild Arms 3. It's your primary source of healing in the game. Grasscraft acquired. Nice. Nothing else. Ha. Avoided that encounter. Oh, yes. Ah, I'm back here again. This is where the, um, what call it? The chest was, or the minecart. Ashley must fight alone. Please let me run. I'm screwed. Cost is one heal berry. Got it. That's fine. Why does Ashley have to fight alone? I don't want Ashley to fight. Ever. Oh, we're falling down here now. This puts us there. Okay. Oops. Let's go up this lift. Where does this bring us? Someplace else. Cool. We're at an hour. And here's the save point. So we're going to stop right here. Hope you enjoyed this internet, and I'll talk to you next time. Bye!